Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man, and today I'm going to review the Televis T-Force preamplifier. This is a new preamp designed by Televis for the new post-repack TV frequencies in the United States. It has a ton of cool new features that I'll get into in just a moment. If you're seeing me for the first time, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that little bell icon to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. As a heads up, this review is sponsored by Televis. Televis did provide me with this preamp and this really cool lab coat for the review. Those of you unfamiliar with the company Televis may be quick to put them in the category of generic unknown brands like Ping Bing Ding or Van Sky. If you did, you'd be wrong. Televis is a very large antenna company based out of Spain. They've been around since the 1950s, just like other well-respected antenna companies like Channel Master, RCA, and WineGuard. The company is vertically integrated, meaning that they handle the design, development, manufacturing, testing, quality control, and distribution of the antennas without having to rely on outside sources. If you decide to purchase a Televis T-Force preamp, be sure to follow the link in the description of my video. Before I get into the actual review, I want to bring to light a few things. On the outside, the average person may see most antenna preamps as the same. I know I sort of did for a while. However, it's the small things that can make a great preamp. Some of the features on this preamp that aren't present on most other preamps include very precise band filtering, meaning that the preamp is only amplifying low VHF, high VHF, and the UHF band. This blocks out interference from the FM band and from nearby cell towers. 5G is launching above the current TV band, and a lot of older TV antennas and preamps are not designed to filter out this kind of interference. Here's a gain chart Televis sent me of how their preamp performed against two very popular models from other brands. You can see the other preamps are amplifying more than just the TV band, including the space between each TV band and the LTE band. Also, the gain is not flat. This can result in interference. The Televis preamp has a very flat response in the TV bands and a higher total amplification for the UHF band as normally needed. A unique feature of the Televis antennas that's now incorporated in the T-Force preamps is having automatic gain control on each band to prevent overload. Just like antennas are not a one-size-fits-all model, the gain applied on a preamp shouldn't be either. The reality is TV signal strength can change due to weather conditions and other factors. Fixed gain preamps can easily overload or underamplify when changes happen. It's also important to note that the automatic gain control is independent per band. So the automatic adjustment of the VHF band does not compromise the UHF band adjustment and vice versa. The independent band filtering can also prevent intermodulation interference, which can happen when harmonics on an amplified VHF signal bleed into and affect TV stations on the UHF band. This preamp also has inputs for two antennas, which is great if combining antennas to get TV stations from different markets. Now I dug deep into some of the features of this preamp, but how well does it actually work? Those of you who follow my YouTube channel and watch all of my videos are probably already aware of my situation, but for those of you who are not, I'll quickly explain. I'm in a situation where I lose my local ABC, CBS, and Fox stations after a 40-foot cable run to my TV set. Some preamps were able to bring these channels back reliably, while others were not. Will this Televis preamp be able to do the job? Here's the signal on KYW CBS3 without the preamp. The station broadcasts on UHF channel 30. It's hovering at around 20% and the signal is too low to even produce a picture. When I added the preamp, the signal went up about 30% and produced solid picture and sound compared to having nothing before. Here's the signal on WNEP ABC 16 without the preamp. The station broadcasts on UHF channel 21. 
It's hovering at around 20 to 25% and is nothing more than a jumbled mess of pixels. When I add the preamp, the signal went up by about 35%, also producing solid picture and sound. You can start to see how adding a preamp can be the difference between a non-watchable signal and a watchable one. Here's the signal on Fox 56 without the preamp. The station broadcasts on UHF channel 22. It's hovering at around 20 to 25% with no picture or sound, just like the other stations. When I add the preamp, the signal went up by about 30% to produce a watchable picture without any breakup. As you can see from my test, this preamp performed well. It was able to bring back the three stations that could no longer come in after I ran a long coaxial cable from the antenna to my TV set. For those of you that are more technical minded, you'll understand the huge benefit of the very fine band filtering on the preamp to prevent any unwanted interference. The automatic gain control is also very good to prevent overload on strong signals. For those of you less technically inclined, the bottom line is that this preamplifier is pretty much plug and play with no adjustments necessary since it will automatically self-adjust to provide optimum gain over the life of the preamp. This is also the only preamp I know of on the market that has the option to connect two antennas without separating the frequencies. Other preamps that you see with separate VHF and UHF inputs would not work to combine antennas to get channels from different markets because each of the antennas have VHF and UHF channels they're trying to pick up you'd only get VHF channels from one market and UHF channels for the other, this preamp would solve that problem. My overall opinion of this preamp is that it's probably one of the best out there with the precise band filtering and automatic gain control. While there are some other preamps that I found to perform well, it means a lot to have a company like Televis innovate and make a preamp specifically for the FCC repack. If you decide to purchase this preamp, be sure to follow the link in the description of my video. Now, if you end up buying this preamp and it doesn't improve your reception, there's a good chance you may need a better antenna setup. I find way too many people will put a good preamp on a junk antenna and expect better results. If you have an antenna that is not designed for the frequencies in your area, a preamp isn't going to magically bring in the stations if you're using a junk antenna. I do offer custom antenna recommendations on my website at antennamanpa.com. Thanks for watching my YouTube video and thanks to Televis for sponsoring it. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have been aware of this preamp and all of the great features of it. I'm working on an updated version of a video I posted about two years ago with the top three preamps I recommend because honestly, some of them I no longer recommend based on feedback from my viewers. But I can tell you once I get to making the video, this preamp will probably be number one. If you're on Facebook, like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antennamanpa. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates whenever I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I attached a link in the description of this video. Stay tuned to my channel for more cord cutting and antenna related information and have an awesome day.